What's up everybody? Today I got a banger of a video. We just got 9 Shimmer Scale and a 3 Star Soraka. I mean, that doesn't happen every game. Am I right? Maybe like a 1 in the 500 game, at least for me. I don't get this lucky. But, today we did it. We actually managed to get some Shimmer Scales rolling. So here I'm just asking what rank people were since it's a new set and I'm trying to figure out what players I'm playing against since yeah, you start in a lower rank but you won't be facing the true rank of what they are because people you're against they're gonna be approximately the same rank as before since everybody gets demoted for ranks. So I just confirmed that. And here we got Big Malphite. Yes. It um, became like a meme for me. Because every time I ask a question, like randomly, I put in Malphite at accident and they just answers yes. So he confirms all the questions I might have. And boom! Timur scale heart. You can't say no to that. I mean, I already had two Shimmer Scales, so 2 plus 1 is 3, of course, and uh, yeah, we already have the Shimmer Scales going. So, time to start printing some money. So we put the gold Mancer Staff on Woollybear, hopefully he can kill some people with his Lightning Strike, whatever the ultimate is called. We got some Dark Star action here though. That trait, I haven't been able to play it yet. I really want to play it. It seems really fun. Especially with uh, sacrificing Seiwani. So you get that Cavalier or the Guild trait active. And then you put a uh, Protector's Vow just like he did. So everybody, all the Dark Stars get the Protector's Vow. And in case you didn't know what item does, it's a new item this set. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. So before you usually didn't build Gargoyle if you had more tanks since you want a solo tank. But now, if you have many tanks, you got a pretty nice option, which is Protector's Vow. When you get below 50% HP, it gives you um, some uh, a, sh a shield, I think, and it gives your teammates some resistances. And a shield as well, perhaps. I'm not sure about that one. So yeah, we got some pretty nice economy going. And once I get a champion that is able to utilize Shimmer Scale items, that economy is gonna go even crazier. But for now it's gonna be Wolven Bear. And he got the Dragon Master buff, so a little bit... A little bit more AP for him. So let's see if he can kill some units here. Yeah, should win this matchup, so... If we're not unlucky, maybe Wullabeer can... Get the last hit. But it seems like he's getting kill steal. No! My money, guys. Oh well, oh well. Game is going good, I'm not gonna complain. And you know, there's a saying I like to go for. Risk it for the biscuit. I was gonna go for the spatula, but... Nah, it got stolen. So we just went for the AP item. Could be a lot of things. Perhaps a Ginsos for uh, Woolly Bear. So we're just gonna put that uh, rod on him. We'll make some item. A lot of possibilities. Can even go you a gauntlet and uh, infinite edge. Who knows? We will see in due time, my friends. This Malphite's doing a great job of tanking. He's a beast of a tank early game. Especially when he's two starred. Look at that. That gives me some PTSD from League of Legends. When you were like playing a AD champion and then enemy buys Malphite. 
and just builds full armor and you're just standing out attacking him and you're basically killing yourself from the format. So if there's any league players out there, which I suppose there would be, you know what I'm talking about guys. So this is not some uh, nice positioning here by me. My woolly bear is tanking everything, so yeah, my bad on this one. We want him to stay alive and get those shimmer scale gold, but it's fine. So I accidentally took out the Yades here, but you know, minion route, so it doesn't matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. So this could be a hand of justice. Could go. Never mind. There we have it. A Ginsus and a hand of justice. Perfect items. And then we have the gold master staff for the AP for Woolly Bear. So yeah, this gives us everything. Damage, healing, attack speed, and a Jade statue. Yeah, this um, Wooler is gonna be strong. We just need him to start. Hopefully, he can start printing some money now. And uh, Malphite, you have served us well, so you get a cloth. I'm feeling generous today. You could say Malphite is solid as a rock. Okay, I didn't say that, guys. Let's just forget about that. Shall we? And uh, here, I went for the level up. Since uh, I'm a greedy, greedy guy. My, um, my plan here is that I'm just getting a lot of money. And I'm just gonna level up. Try to stay ahead, stay ahead of the curve. And be higher level than people and to win uh, that way but uh, yeah you usually shouldn't take more than one econ augment since you're gonna be weak in combat since other people will have combat augments but uh, hey you know risk it for the biscuit i suppose and since I have so much money and the uh, levels are cheaper now, I can just level up so fast. Because I think I can go level 10 this game and maybe pull up some crazy shenanigans. So that's the plan. And that's a nice, pretty scary though. Oh, that's really strong. She has the attack speed item, I believe. Gambler's Blade. A Ginsus and Draven's Axis. So she just gets a lot of attack speed. Gets money from the item. And she procs the Draven's Axis. That's really broken. That guy's gonna scale like crazy. And a belt. Why not? You get a nice sunfire, my friend. Or rather, COU gets a sunfire. We're gonna sell him later so he can get it. You shouldn't build like sunfire on him. He's just a... He's a damage dealer, but... I'm gonna sell him so... Now I can build it, temporarily. But otherwise you should build like Giant Slayer, Hodge, that stuff on Shiyu. Just so I don't bait you guys into some troll build in the future. Ooh, money money. It's the beer of uh, Wall Street, this would bear. We're making big bucks here. Well, speaking of big bucks, there we have Ides. So now we just got two more items 
All right. Very nice. So that's uh, Gambler's Blade and not Raven's Axe. I didn't really have some units to put it on since I already itemized my woolly bear so I'm just gonna put it on uh, Parma in the back and hopefully people don't have assassins. So what I should have done here is to move my karma. I realized it too late. Now she's gonna die, but uh, yeah, you should uh, place her in the back or in the front rather, so she doesn't die by the wolves. And then she can potentially get some money and stacks of the shimmer scale items. And yeah, we're almost level nine already. Man, sometimes you just gotta love that level up augment. And this was kinda scary. I forgot how uh, Senna targeting worked, so I was like, please don't oop my karma in the back. I want her to stay alive with those items. But it seems like she's ulting the front line, so we're good. And I'm surprisingly healthy this game, so. Yeah, we went for the grab back there since I just wanted the uh, I just wanted that spatula since a spatula means I can build a shimmer scale emblem. And that is exactly what I want right now. And I didn't have a sword, but there's a carousel and a treasure dragon, so I can just, uh, if I don't get it by Draven Access or the Carousel, then I can just uh, search the Treasure Dragon for a BF Sword. I mean, I have plenty of gold to do that, so that is the plan. And I realized another thing here that you can uh, learn from my mistakes is that um, when you're playing Shimmer Scale and you have a lot of extra gold, you shouldn't like pre-level, or not pre-level, but you shouldn't level if you're not leveling up, exactly. Since if you have 80 gold and you need uh, 20 more, just wait for the next turn. Because um, that 80 gold will make the shimmer scale items uh, stronger. Because they stack off um, by the gold you have up to 80. So I shouldn't like level like I did. But it's fine. We're in a good spot, so who cares? Oof, money, money. So, what do you guys think of the new set? I actually love the new set. I kind of really didn't enjoy the last set, to be fair. I felt like it was, you had to play certain stuff. I feel like this set you can build up more, more flex boards, more fun stuff. So I enjoy this uh, way more actually. If I'm gonna be honest. There's just a lot of fun things you can do. Especially when they change like to uh, 5 instead of 6 jades and uh, rage wing to 2 and 4 instead of 3 and 6. It opens the door to build like a lot of different comps, which is a good thing. Ooh, thank you Soraka for that sweet save. And Draven Access, guess what it gave us? Gamer scale. So uh, now we just need that Zoe. And then we will have uh, Crown of Champions. Oh, come on, Woolly Bear. No. And you try your best, but you don't succeed. Alright, peace.
So I'm uh, thinking of uh, doing like a uh, 100 subscriber stream. I have streamed some in Twitch before, but yeah, I've uh, I don't do it anymore. But I'm thinking of doing uh, like uh, a stream on YouTube if you guys would like that. I don't think I could stream regularly right now since I will begin like a full time, a new full time job, so it will be hard to fit in everything. But I can do some, uh, I can have some spare time, so maybe stream some. It will be fun. Oh, come on. We just need one of. No! He has Crown of Champions. I would say we just need they, them both to stay alive so Yasuo doesn't do the thing, the ult thing. But then he had Crown of Champions. RIP. Well, you might have Crown of Champions, but when Zoe comes, you're gonna. Taste your own medicine, my friend. But Zoe is apparently gone. But hey, at least we have Soraka. And let's just put Rakan in the right side and see where we need to shroud. And. We got the shroud on Soraka. Soraka? Rakan. So we got this whole team there, which was pretty huge. Especially because he has a Lagoon Mage Comp. So that was pretty nice. Or does he not have a Mage in? Oh, that's not good. Like when you play. Uh, What's it called? I don't know how to pronounce the new dragon. Soam or whatever. Anyhow, you get the drill. Not important. You need to like have mage. Because every third shot. Oh, there we have it. Soam. Okay. I was kind of right. Every third attack is um, just like an explosion. So you really want the mage for the double cast. So you get the explosions more often. So if you play mage. Or play Soam, you need to play Mage. Holy. The <laughs> that unit is just dashing everywhere. <laughs> and Swain is so broken this set. We actually killed him here, but... Yeah. Sometimes you just have your whole team attacking Swain and he just kills them all. I feel like Swain is kind of broken. I got a really fun comp where I had like uh, Terra. And if you, um, if you played it, you know that uh, the ultimate gives... Uh, or does damage based on the resistances. And I had like... Um, mythic... Or what's it called? Mystic... Um, augment and I had another mystic emblem. So I had a lot of MR and... Tank items as well. And I gave her a mage emblem as well. So she just deleted the whole team. Ulti like crazy. Maybe I post that uh, as the next video. That was a pretty nice game. Let's see what we get from this carousel. We get a... I don't know. Let's just take that Graves. 4 gold and a Morellos. And we have a Reforger so... Just go for the thing with the most gold and Reforge it. Because we already had a Sunfire, so we don't need more burn. They don't stack, so... Let's 
through that. So right now I'm just saving that money. You know what I'm saving for guys. We're gonna go for the three stars. Go for the YouTuber. And boom. Ayasu, that's a good start. Oh, Zoe, hello. It's pretty nice. Now we have the nine shimmers, crown of champions. That's a banger. Uh, I kind of should have been bar though, so I get the higher legendary percentages. But I mean, we already have pretty nice percentages. What's gonna be the deal breaker is if someone else holds uh, our legendary unit, since there's only 10 of each and you need 9 to freestyle them, so... If, if just someone takes 2 of my Sorakas, it's uh, not gonna be a freestyle, unfortunately. But... We'll just have to uh, take everything, I suppose. Noise, board, welcome. And yeah, we have saved up the money now. So soon it's gonna be a bigger roll down. This guy is kinda scary though. Restore everything. But it's just astral unit, so we're fine. I hope. Yeah, we good. Man, so is he so uh, useless without mage? But hey, we don't need strong units if we can have a crown of champions. To be fair. Ooh. That was a nice roll down. So we're at 6 Yasus. Six Sorakas. Seven Sorakas. Alright. Man, at this point, I probably could have restarted Aurelian. You see how many I got in the shops? Holy. Come on, Shimmer. Give me that money. I need it. Come on, Yasu. Go crazy. He actually stayed alive there for a long time. He lost it out. Oh, it's gonna be close here. But not close enough. Oh, Saraka. So, boom. There we have it. A free star. And you know what you have to do when you free star? A legendary? You sell your board, I mean. That's just uh, good manners. And unfortunately, I'm too slow, so I couldn't. I didn't pre star my Yasu as well. I still had one more. Surely I hit that with like a 30 something gold. But oh well. So Rocky free. That's good enough for me. Look at that. Completely chanceless. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like. And I make TFT content just like this video. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. Yeah, with that being said, have a great one everybody. Ciao.